time for another adventure. So, this is, I believe, lesson number six uh, with this particular flight instructor. I'm going to go up, and I think he said today we're going to do uh, power on stalls in a bank and um, pattern flying or something. I forget what else he said, but looking forward to it. It's been three weeks. Uh, unfortunately, just due to my schedule and due to weather, uh, I've not been able to fly. I was in San Antonio last week, so... Missed that entire week. That sucks. Um, reviewed all my videos again. I'm ready to go. Fired up. Excited. Looking forward to it. Going down the mountain. Going to head that way and uh, go into the sky. Wish me luck. See you there. We'll go down the side of them. The side of, I think they're sitting on the taxiway. Yeah, it looks right up next to it. Yeah, I think they're right close to it. So let's, yeah. All right. Ready, set, sir? Yeah. All right, and coming to a stop. Okay, B4 takeoff. Seatbelts and belts locked and fastened. Your seatbelt locked and fastened, sir. All right, cabin doors and windows closed and locked. Second. All right, fuel selector set to both. It is primer in and locked. What is the primer? Okay, yeah, that. Uh, elevation trim set, we already checked that mixture rich. Bottle to 1700. Okay, magneto check. Left. Now back to both and now right. Good. Back to both. Carburetor heat. On is good. Suction gauge. All your gauges look okay. Oil cup is low though. Or is that okay? It's warming up. <laughs> okay. Oil pressure on the left. Suction gauge three point. All right, that all looks good to me. Uh, back down to thousand. Alright, flaps are up, I already did that. Transmoder set to ALT. Autopilot off, haha. Uh -huh. Pedo heat as required, pedo heat is off. Landing strobe lights, they are on. Do you, you, you don't want me to leave those on or off? Don't need nav lights. Oh, nav lights, okay. Be don't need a landing light. Okay, just leave, okay, just the beacon, got it. Alright, take off brief. Uh, so we're gonna go down the runway, and if we, what is it, above 500 feet? If something happens, the engine quits, we're going to land on the runway. Or sorry, below, below 500 feet, we'll land on the runway. A thousand. A thousand. A thousand? Can we get all the way to a thousand before we get to the uh, end of the runway? Well, we're just going to land straight ahead if we have no runway left. Oh, okay. Just so above, okay. Got it. If it's above a thousand, we're going to try to turn around and come back. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave that up to you. Uh, all right. So, uh, we'll get on the runway here shortly and we'll check the compass and everything. I'm happy if you are. All right, so I need to call now, right? So it's gonna, I'll push the button. I'm not gonna do it yet, but it's Western Carolina Cessna 086, uh, departing runway 26 to the west, Western Carolina. Is that correct? Western Carolina, Cessna 086, departing 26 to the west, Western Carolina. All right, looking left and right. I see nobody. Happy if you are.
Hey, it's not a storm coming that way. They're getting ready to take off. Alright, you ready? Here we go.
some reason. Pull your power back. Down the strut. 
up here, I'm going to say uh, Western Carolina, Cessna 086, entering left down wind 26, Western Carolina. Yep. Left down wind. Oh. Yeah. Catch them both, make sure we're in the carburetor heat on. Carburetor heat on. No clearing turn. Uh, go down to 2700. Yes, uh, we'll, I'll do the announcement basically right after I cross the threshold here, yeah? We can go now. Is this considered part, or would we be considered entering now, or not yet? Um, not until we, until you make the turn, that's when you're on it. We'll landing and take you back, and then we'll take off again, and we'll see if it matters. Uh, Wind's 300, so it's from over there. Okay. 
really move ahead and right halo line and left. Back you back down to the end. All right. Wasn't the greatest landing, we got on the ground though. Brakes? Yeah, I was using brakes. Uh, Do you know, what, not want me to use brakes? Well, not unless you absolutely have. Okay. Carolina Cessna zero two or zero eight six departing runway two six staying in the pattern Western Carolina. Right. Nobody says anything. So here on the on the tarmac, right? <laughs> Alright, here we are. So we're gonna have that crosswind from the right again to think about. You ready, ready? Alright. Here we go. Alright. There we go. Fun fun. Forty. Okay. So here we go again. This is our 
already all done. So go ahead and power back, I think you said, to uh, 15. Power back to 15, keep the nose level for now. Wait till we get down a little bit. Ooh. Flaps. One, three, four, five. There we go, 20 degrees. And level for 80. They're going 80. We're still really high though. Do you want to start low? What, at what point do we want to start going down? But you know, if you pitch for 80, it's going to go. It'll do it automatically. Yeah. Okay, so it's all about the speed at that point. You're letting your nose come up. Alright, left turn. Western Carolina, Cessna 086, turn in left, phase 26, Western Carolina. People understand. All right, flaps down to 40. And I'm high. A pitch for 70, you said. Are you power back? Are you power back? Power back? Okay. It stay at 70, though. Pitch for it. You got a pitch for it. Oh, okay, I see. I see. I did last time too. It's, uh, so you do that, it's like A. Hey. Okay. It was right there. Hold down. Or off. Bring the nose up the level. Just hold it right there. It's the end of the runway. Now bring the nose up. Bring it up. Pull on it. Pull on it. See? Okay. See? <laughs> really? But a lot. There's a lot of nose. Though. I had to put the nose on the runway. Right, right. Can't get it there. No. You do well we're corrected. Right, right. Is another one? Oh, that was fun. That was good. I want to leave it on a high note. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I like that one. Uh, See? That's why if you, you got to pitch for 80. Right. If you, you don't want to increase your power, you pitch for 80, that way it starts its descent. And the same way on coming down, you don't raise the nose up. Use your pitch to control your airspeed, it's just like slow flight. Right, right. Using your power to control your glide path. So if it looks like you're going to be short, then you would add some power. Yeah, I'll get there. Oh, yeah, just take it up to the pump. Okay, so I just, I just finished my flight. At this point, you've already seen it. Uh, we did uh, flying around a pattern. Really fast running dog. We did a flying uh, around a pattern, around a rectangular pattern. I, I didn't quite understand the points he was using. I, we had originally picked a, a rectangle that I thought was really easy to see. And then we, we flew past it and decided on a second rectangle that I, I didn't really fully understand the points until he, he took it and flew it around once. And then it was just a matter of getting over and doing a 45 degree turn and, and making that pattern. I think this was really good. I think it was good because one of the things I noticed is that when I've been turning in the previous videos, they were not real steep turns. I was a little leery of the steep turns. Um, Oddly, this time when I actually cranked it over and I'm looking out the window and I actually see that I'm at a, a 45 degree turn, which didn't bother me at all, and then I look out the window and we're at a steep turn. We're at the exact steep turn that he normally takes. That made me suddenly feel comfortable in a steep turn. So, method to the madness. Uh, so that was good. Uh, and then we did a couple landings. Um, again, my landings are, they need work. Um, the, the first one I was, well, both of them, I was really high. And I think, uh, I think it was from the, the original problem I had on, on day five was that I got too low on my second landing. So that now I'm overcompensating and I'm too high. I'll tune it in. I'll get it close. But, uh, yeah, it was great. I, I had a good time. I'm, I'm over-controlling a little, and that's because there's a there's a little bit of a, a crosswind right now, 
so I was I was over controlling and I was fighting it and uh, that's experience you know and he actually took it from me at one point and just held it steady and said see you know so I'm I'm over controlling and I think it's just like in a car when you first start driving you kind of saw the wheel a little bit I think that's it that's all that's going on here is I'm just over controlling so um, had a fantastic time really enjoy it I meant to grab a, a trade a plane and I forgot I might run back in there and get one but uh, yep all's good and that would be my business partner so I'm gonna return that call take care guys something I forgot to mention uh, and I'll, I'll add the photos to this video so you can see them there were some uh, Hueys uh, Air Force Hueys uh, they're kind of gray in color that flew in and they flew they actually flew the traffic pattern and you know turned base turned final well that's the other thing I got to do all the radio calls anyways um, they came in and they actually hovered above the runway, turned like they're going down the exit. Uh, you know, they're exiting at one of the, uh, the little ramps, just like they were a plane. I thought that was really cool. And the thing that I just marveled at is they, the Air Force pilots who were flying were very, very good uh, in that they hovered. And it was a perfect hover. They just they got one. And one of them was waiting, like the, the second one was waiting for the first one to park. And... So he just he just hovered right there above a point uh, on the runway. Actually, he was just off the runway on the ramp. But it was it was like he was on the ground. But he wasn't. He was you know t uh, four or five feet I guess above the ground. Kind of impressive actually. Uh, the other thing was the radio calls. I got to do all the radio calls this time, and uh, you'll hear I do a couple of them backwards. <laughs> I'm an idiot. What do you do? Okay. Bye now.